feet around the hands so that they land in front of the hands. Like leapfrog. Mm -hmm. So now once you're there, you're going to bring your hands on the calves and you're going to try to bring yourself through the legs a little bit. Bend the knees. And then you're going to put your fingertips on the floor behind the heels. Fingertips facing the feet. And then slowly squeezing your elbows. You want to shut around the arms. And you're going to slowly lower the heels of the hands as you lower the buttocks. And now you've got a tabletop with the arms. Right? The arms are square. Everything's at a right angle. Now, from here, you're going to bring more weight back into the hands, come to the toes, and you can just walk the toes towards each other. But remember, we did this one leg at a time, right? So we know what we have to activate. Now we're not going to cross. You're just going to lift one foot and lift the other. Because we already did this. Maybe then you can cross. Maybe then, if you can, you can go straight down, put the top of the head on the floor, or you can put the toes down, and then put the crown of the head on the floor. Put some weight into the head, and see if you can point the toes back. Keep broadening through the collarbones. Then maybe to come back, you might need to put the toes down, push the toes. If you can come up without touching, you do so. 